Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. As you can see, we're at Hangman Sally, but you might be wondering where exactly we are at Hangman Sally. Well, I'm really glad I can finally uh, show you what I've been working on in between recordings, as I've been uh, slowly expanding. If Curie wants to shut up. Um, I've been slowly working on expanding Hangman's Alley to a place where we can actually live. Um, I had a bit of trouble actually making this into a second floor. There's a few roof tiles I really can't place. But other than that, this side area has been completely roofed. So I'm going to continue working on this in between recordings to actually make this a livable place. Because uh, at the moment, there I think are about five extra settlers that have now joined our... Uh, our Fine little settlement over here. So let's get into the power armor, which now has everything up to Mark V aside from the arms. As you can see, the arms are still rusty. Everything has EMP shielding, and we have two Nuka Cola mixers machines here as well. I'm gonna show you just around a little bit. For some reason, there's also a Brahmin running around here. I don't know why that is. But as you can see, there's a few people here. I've assigned these people to be supply lines so we can get more uh, stuff from our other settlements. I've placed every, well, workshop that I'm gonna need, every workstation I'm gonna need, because I also got the second perk of local leader. So we can now also place a store. I don't think anybody is manning the store just yet, but I'm working on that. I also made this one garden plot, and I think I can actually make more now that I think about it. Yes, indeed, because I found a few bags of fertilizer in uh, Vault 3083 uh, last time we were there. I want to place this right next to one another, but apparently that's not how the game how the game sees this. You know what? I'm gonna do that in, uh, <laughs> at the end of this episode. I'm not gonna bore you with the uh, specifics of making a settlement. The last thing I wanted to show you is that I placed uh, a turret at both entrances. Well, two of the entrances of uh, Hangman's Alley. We can still go up here, and that's basically everything there is to it. I've also reorganized a few things, uh, and this uh, thing, the Purifier Arch can get rid of rads without me having to take any uh, medical supplies. So without any deficit as well, I don't get a downside of using this. I can just push the button, stand in there, and all the rads will be purged from my body. But for today, I'm just going to move away from Curie, because Curie doesn't want to shut up for one second. There we go, a second, third. Uh, let's close that up. Today we're gonna do a few things. First things first, I want to finally take a look at Pikmin's Gallery. Pikmin's Gallery is, um, you know, that raider base that Hancock uh, asked us to check out and that we passed by a few times but never really went inside of. We're gonna do that first and after that we're gonna head to the Old North Church and if you know this game then you probably already know what we're gonna do there. Oh and I think we're approaching a, a synth discussion. Art. There we go. So art and art. Please, please help. I don't want to die. Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh God, my kids. Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please, please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. So we're gonna let this play out, because uh, you never can know beforehand. I think you can pickpocket them though. Can can I pickpocket this guy? Nope, doesn't seem... Oh! Oh! Um, interrogate! Hey, hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. I'm telling you, I'm not a synth. You have to believe me. So that failed. Um, none of my business indeed. None of my business. No! You can't! He's gonna kill me! Yeah, but I don't know if you're... Uh, there we go, so now we can check. Uh, this seems to be the synth. Yeah, look at that. He's the synth, so... There we go. He was indeed wearing your face, so I'm glad you uh, got to kill him. I don't know why he did that on top of, like, a bunch of other corpses, but... Uh, ooh, Chunky's note. And there's a lot of drugs on his corpse. And then another scavenger with also a note on top of her corpse. That's interesting. Let's check those out. So the junkies note, dealer said there was a big stash of camps up at Robotics Pioneer Park. Get them and we'd be set for months. Or we could sell them and buy something stronger. 
And then we get the mini quest from that. And then the scavenger's note. One of the caravan guards said they passed by Trinity Tower a while back. Thought it might have some good scrap left to salvage. Might be worth the look. And then we get that quest as well. And I think, yeah, we're passing by the mass fusion building again. Yeah, did think so. I know there's frag mines around here a little bit. Who? Who's this? Oh. Oh, this is sad. Oh, why did... No. So normally the Voltec rep, if you send him to Sanctuary, he actually makes it to Sanctuary. But, oh no. This is sad. I don't even know why he's here. This is not... I mean, we're pretty close to good neighbor, but... oh, The Voltec rep is dead. God damn you gunners. And then we discover Haymarket Hall, uh, Mall. Which seems to be a raider camp, but... There doesn't seem to be anybody here. Might be that I killed everybody before. It does look familiar. I kind of triggered a bomb on the wall there, but... Other than that... This seems to be fine. Could this be a set? God damn you, sandbags. Could this be a settlement of any kind? I don't see a workbench immediately, so I think not. But it's a nice, cozy little raider bar, bar though. But nothing really interesting to scavenge in that raider camp. So uh, we might as well move along. And I think if we go in here, we can actually make it to Pikmin's gallery. It's... Quite hidden in this little uh, side route, but I think this is supposed to be the door. Where is it? Ah, no, it's still around the corner. So that's, is that the old, old North Church? I think it is. We're going to be visiting that in a minute, but first, there we go. There it is. The lovely red door of Pikmin's gallery. Uh, let's go in. You think we're gonna catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy alive after he snatched him. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. No joke. The faster we clip this asshole, the better. It always feels like something's watching me in here. So there we go. We are detected, but for some reason, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to check if we have uh, the fragmentation grenades equipped. Yep, we do. There we go. Toss that over there. What the? Wow, that blew up a lot of people, but for some reason I didn't get the experience for it. I think I triggered some a few traps. What is he doing? So yeah, Pikmin is a psycho. Pikmin is basically a... Uh, a serial killer that kills raiders. Um, he is literally a psycho. He's uh, really fucked. Ow. 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 And I'm not I'm not what you say I am. There you go. Can You can have another grenade. Okay, thank you for the corpse. I wanted to check that anyway. Where'd the little bitch go? There he goes. Oh, he tried to heal up. Well, because, you know, because, because I like to shoot... Raiders in the face. I'm not a psychotic to... Okay, we got a message to Jack. Might want to check that out. But as you can see, Pikmin is, uh, has an artistic side. Uh, I mean, we're actually done with the uh, the quest for Hancock already. But Pikmin yeah, has a bit of a, uh, an, an artistic side. He makes these lovely, lovely paintings. But uh, let's see if we can find what's going on here a little bit further. Admiring my collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Soon, though. Stay away from me, you psycho! Yes. Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. There we go. So we uh, have our first... Our first little introduction to Pikmin himself. He's a... Uh, a very colorful character, to say the least. Let's take a further look around in his house, in the old art gallery, as this uh, radio on the tape just mentioned it. And uh, clear it out from the rest of the radius. We do need to be careful, because this place is riddled with traps. As you can see, there's a laser pistol over here. I'm going to take that. And there's like radius, well, 
displayed on stretches and beds all over the place. This place is really, really creepy if it not for uh, the fact that he's actually doing this on uh, Raiders. Oh god. Oh wow, that's a, that's a scaver. A waster, a waster. Okay, so that's why she took quite a bit of rounds there. There we go. And she got a few hits in. I'll give her that. The armor took quite a bit of it, but uh, if it wasn't for the armor, I would have been long dead. And the cool thing is, is that you can already see it a little bit. There's like holes in the walls and there's clearly tunnels on the other side of the walls. And uh, we're going to be trying to find a way into that side area. So going up to the top floor, I think there was at least two more raiders. There's a dog with his head missing. That's a bit disturbing. Hi. Um, hi. Well, that was your buddy losing his head. I am? I don't think I am, because you're going to lose your head as well. Oh, wow, he survived that. Not the second shot, though. There we go. Okay. I think that's the last... Ooh, yeah, the attack dog's head is over here. Talk to Jack Cabot about the artifact. Okay, so we're already a week ahead. That also reminds me, I never leveled up properly. Because because of all the crafting and gathering I did, we're sitting on three level ups. So uh, there's plenty of stuff to go around. Let's see. So first things first, I think Rifleman can go up to 80... Percent more damage and 25% armor reduction while well, ignoring 25% uh, of the target's armor and a chance of crippling a limb. There we go, Rifleman 4. Um, I think I'm also going to take the second rank of 4 leaf clover, so a better chance of filling your critical meter. And then I think I'm going to go for the second rank of science. We're going to be needing that if you want to upgrade the power armor even further. So, second rank of science it is. I'm going around this place really, really carefully uh, because of all the traps. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not even, even exaggerating that. There's like a freaking missile launcher here, I think. Yeah, a night vision triple barrel missile launcher. That's pointed at the door. Just in case anybody comes in. Seems like it's already been triggered though. I'm not even going to risk running over that. I'm just going to jump. Oh, that would have been bad. I think I landed on the wire, but... But, 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 this top floor also allows you, behind this bookcase, to uh, nip into the side area here. So, there we go, into the walls. Which is gonna give us access to the remainder of the building. The few areas that we haven't seen yet. So, right over here, behind the bedroom. And then we can... Oh, yeah, frag mine. There we go. So really need to be careful. I think there's even one eventually where you actually land. So I'm going to have to be careful about that. Just the door open. Let's go. There we go. So the Raiders are going in. They uh, are clearly also in the basement. Just going to take a look around because I don't want to hit... I'm pretty sure there's a mine around here where you land. Doesn't seem to be over here. Oh, why are you right focusing about. on me? That was a nice bounce. That was a very nice bounce. I just skipped that grenade on top of their asses. Okay, that was nice. Um, but other than that, again, need to be really, really careful. Really, really mindful about mines. Get it? Mindful? Mind, mind? I'm, I'm just going to shut up. And uh, admire one of the uh, lovely paintings of Pikmin again. And then we get another mine. Sadly, the Raiders didn't actually trigger that because that would have been funny as hell. But uh, aside from that, I think we're basically... Yeah, that's underneath the staircase. So we're gonna, we're gonna follow the path the Raiders were setting out. And that means we're going through the wall. Again, traps. There we go. Another frag grenade. Frag mine. Frag mine, no grenade. And that seems to be a legendary Raider. So, uh... Difficult guy to get, uh, get rid of. There we go. Hello. Oh, wow, he just popped into cover there, didn't he? Um, let's take a shot at the left arm. There we go. And that drained all our action points. But he popped out of cover, so that's his mistake. There we go. Grim Reaper Sprint activated. So we got all our action points back in one go. Uh, and he has a haul. Oh, oh, oh. That's something for Bob again. Sentinel Super Slash take 15% less damage while standing and not moving. Uh, I can't do anything else but take this, but uh, I'm gonna drop 
but am I gonna drop it? I can drop it later on if I need the space. I have plenty of space left. But now there's a few openings over here, a few ways we can go. I think most of these actually end in a dead end. Um, just gonna have to check. So this is definitely a dead end. I hear more whispering. This is really weird. So, okay, we saw the Raiders getting ready to go in. But even then, we uh, we just find more Raiders behind that, that guy, those guys that we're talking about. Hey, we're going in. And then there was clearly another Raider. And we can still hear the whisperings of more. And then we're diving deeper. Ooh, that is water. That is water. Do you need to be careful? Because uh, I'm in power armor. Oh, hi. Um... Hi, hi, can you just die? I'm just gonna take the critical. I am? Oh god! Oh, you asshole! You are a dick! You, sir! Where the hell was the other one? He just threw a Molotov cocktail at my face. So there's another turret over there, and I think I saw one of the raiders. Yeah, she fell on her ass because of the uh, turret explosion. Right leg! There we go. Ooh. That was a... That's not supposed to be a one-hit kill. I don't mind, but... Ow. 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 Can you stop, please? Goodbye. Oh, Luis looks so intimidating in that armor. I love it. So, moving our way back up. And there's another frag mine in front of us. So, but I think we're almost where we need to be. So we're going to cross these pipes very gingerly. I think I saw... Ooh. That is a nice prize in and of itself. A double Nuka-Cola Quantum. That's going to... Yeah, if we ever need it, that's going to be very handy. There's another frag mine over there. There we go. And more raiders yelling at Pikmin himself. Oh, God. Uh, hi. Need some cover fire over here. Ow! Jesus. That at least took care of the the, the third. Um, the veteran is over there and there's a scavenger on the side. Let's take that one out first. Lower health. And then I can use the criticals I've been building up to go for the head of the scavenger twice. Ooh. Ooh, this guy is actually pretty... pretty hefty. I can't... I can't see! I think I blinded him. Yeah, there we go. So the upgrade to the rifles have really, really helped there because I got the, I immediately crippled his head there, which was uh, why he was yelling out for, oh no, I can't see. So I am on the lookout for um, a combat rifle because eventually I'm going to run out of ammo for the laser rifle since I've mainly been using that, the Righteous Authority. Um, so I'm going to have uh, an alternative for when we actually do lose access to that weapon. I'm actually going to check if I can drop a save. I think I'm not over encumbered just yet. So I think, yeah, we're going to save. There we go. Auto save. You're carrying too much and cannot run all of a sudden. Ah, because we are... I think we're sick, right? Yeah, more rat disease. There we go. More rat disease. How the hell did we get that? Max HP minus 10. I would think we needed to get bit by a mole rat, but we might have gotten that from the previous quest in uh, Vault 83. But antibiotics, mildly dehydrated, hydrated is not a problem because we can just drink some more purified water. And if we pop into the power armor, we're going to be able to uh, get rid of that. Maybe I was still under the effect of uh, grilled rat stack from the previous episode. Might be because I know that takes a hell of a long time to get rid of. Um, ooh, empty bottles. Empty bottles means purified water, so I'm definitely going to take those with us. And then we get triumphant music, which means that we're pretty close to Pikmin himself in a confrontation with the Raiders. Finally got you, Pikmin. Thought you could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content. I'm going to start shooting because otherwise we're going to kill Pikmin. <laughs> There we go. He had healing health regeneration. That was interesting. There we go. And then the last one is over here. And he goes down. So, Pikmin survived, which is already good. Let's have a little chat with him. Hey there. <sighs> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserved worse than death. 
were cold-blooded killers. They got their pound of flesh. But I'll collect my own again soon. I owe you. And as you can see, Pikmin is a magic man because the blood on his shirt just vanished miraculously. But uh, if I let you... Hmm. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? A gift. Nothing more. If you visit my house again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this. There we go, we get Pikmin's key. And we can receive his gift. And his gift is actually a unique weapon, which is uh, really, really cool. Even though I wanted to do, do this quest just because of Hancock. Um, let's see. We also had a named Raider over here, Slap, who has... I think he has a little bit of health regeneration, because I saw his health bar moving up while we were shooting him. So uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just glad that we took him out so quickly. And there's also an astoundingly awesome Tales on the floor here, so let's read that. We gain plus five poison resistance permanently, so that's crap. That's gonna be really, really handy. And then we can leave the gallery out the back. I don't think there are any more traps here, but we can get out true north end and that brings us back outside but if we move up again and then move around the sides to the entrance of pikmin's gallery we needed to check out the painting pikmin uh, picnic for charlie and i think it's the one over here in the corner there we go picnic for stanley and there's a safe behind it in which you can find a bunch of stuff like ammo, bottle caps, leaded polymer, combat armor, right arm. I'm going to take that just to see, but Pikmin's Blade is the most important item here. So Pikmin's Blade is a unique combat knife which adds 25 points of additional bleeding. Um, which is really, really nice. There we go. It's, it's a fast combat knife. And then we get a Pikmin's Thank You note. Can I actually inspect this? No, I, I can inspect it, but I can't read it just like that, which is annoying. And now we got a scoped hair trigger assault rifle. Uh, don't really need that. No, I'm not really looking for automatic rifles just yet. So let's just move back out. Oh, and now, now, now Sanctuary is being attacked by something. Um, I don't think I would be able to get there soon enough. Um, and since we're right next to the Old North Church, I really need to do this first. Maybe we'll go to Sanctuary after this. I needed to go there anyway. was originally to check up on the Vault Deck Rep, but we now we found his corpse already. Uh, that doesn't seem to be necessary anymore. But the Old North Church is, as we said before, the end of the railroad. And if you don't know this game, I'll explain to you what the railroad is in a second. So, the railroad is basically the fourth faction in the Commonwealth. We have the Minutemen, the Brotherhood of Steel, the, and the Institute. And the railroad is the fourth faction who wants to, uh, well, liberate the Institute Synths. So they believe that the Synths are actually uh, real creatures and want to keep them alive. Holy crap a doodle ding dongs Okay, let's cripple this thing as quickly as possible. And do that again, please. Can we do that again? There we go. And he evolved. And because this thing is going to be really, really annoying. Okay. Oh, and, he, and he's poisonous. There we go. Okay. Legendary Withered Feral Ghoul. Ooh. Stalker's Hardened Radium Rifle. That is, if you are not yet in combat, increases VAT ac VAT's accuracy but costs more AP. That is really, really good against humans, uh, this weapon just in, in general. Hardened Radium Rifle. I'm just gonna grab that just because it sounds cool. Other than that, it seems like the rest of the ghouls are actually dead. Um, so I won't, won't bother. So rubber, rubber, I really need rubber to upgrade the rest of my armor. But yeah, the Institute is... No, not the Institute. The Railroad uses these kind of signs to guide you along your path. And they, uh, yeah, they kind of want to rescue as much, as many of the, the Institute sins as they can. Um, but because they are hunted by the Institute as well, they are hiding very, very nicely indeed. If you've uh, played this game before, you know that you get your first indication from a random civilian that you need to follow the railroad, which is this red line running through Boston. And if you follow that along, uh, you'll get to certain medallions spelling out a word. 
Um, and at the end of the road, you'll get to this church. Um, each letter on the, the each medallion has a, a letter that's been marked, and if you combine those letters, you get a word, and that's the password to the uh, railroad HQ that we're gonna enter in a second. Hello, Romer. Can you can you die, please? I I fired the second time, but for some reason it takes like a hell of a lot of time <laughs> before you actually do that. And again, we got hit. So at the end of this uh, this uh, well creepy catacomb, there's this clearly. Well, there's a wall here with a tablet and then the same medallion we've been finding all along and there seems to be an electrical wire running to the inside of that wall so if we spin uh this uh ring here huh. we can actually spell it's out nice. railroad so let's start with the r and then we'll go along the ring oh so it starts with r and then we end with the d and we get Railroad, which completes Follow the Freedom there Trail. And that also opens up the door. Let's go out of sneaking, because this is going to be quite cinematic. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Not one you? foot closer. Um, well, I'm uh, not your enemy. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? A uh, random civilian in Diamond City. I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow! Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. So, uh, Deacon here. We've seen him a few times already. He's been following, following us around, keeping an eye on us. And his, uh, well, introduction of us changes depending on what you've done up until this point. So, uh, yeah, I'm flattered. Glad someone noticed. You know, you're practically famous. The Brotherhood of Steel let you into their ranks. That's a hell of a thing there. And, as if that wasn't enough, the railroad owes you a crate, hell, a truckload of Nuka-Cola for what you did to Kellogg. He was our public enemy number one. So you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? Well, uh, you wanna, wanna fight the Institute? You're the only ones fighting the Institute. And I want to take them down. I'd like to say that nobody comes here out for blood, out for revenge. That everyone's here to help their fellow man. That would be a lie, though. Okay, so let's, uh, I want to protect others as well. I don't want anyone else to suffer at their hands. Amen to that. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yes, we know about them. Yeah. I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? So since we know that the railroad is, um, well, really into saving since uh we're just gonna say i'd risk my life i risk my life for people every day <laughs> makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth well said you were right about us we're the only ones in the commonwealth brave enough or stupid enough to fight the institute and we could use more sisters in arms but right now we don't have the time to train up a new agent there are however other valuable ways you can contribute and in turn we can help you See Deacon for details. You're free to go. So there we go. We can't go in their railroad HQ just yet, but we can talk to Deacon. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Road to Freedom is completed, and we, uh, yeah, we, we can be uh, forgetful. The leader was just being cautious. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, 
I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. We're not gonna do that. We might sell you out to the Brotherhood of Steel later on, but uh, I'll keep it a secret. Don't worry. I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Okay. I'm interested. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. So, we need to do a job for the railroad before we can enter. Uh, the problem is that that job is actually pretty far away. It's pretty close to the Corvega car factory where we started the game. Um, so we need to go back quite a bit if you want to do that. But we were talking about going to Sanctuary anyway. So we're going to hop on a vertebrate over there. And then move Still our way there. back up south. Well, down south. So uh, let's take the job. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. So there we go. We need to go to Lexington and meet Deacon at the old highway. We can't do anything else, but that's the introduction out of the way anyway. The problem with not being allowed in just yet is that you can't access the shortcut at the uh, the back of the railroad HQ. So we need to go through the, uh, the catacombs again. And I think one of the other ghouls actually woke up while we were uh, gone. So there he is. There he goes. So, let's equip the Vertibird signal grenade and try this out. Uh, this seems like an open enough area. Ah, the Vertibird will be unable to land at your requested location. Okay. So, I think this, this might actually be the, the exact same location I tried this at last time. Uh, I'm going to move to the side here just a little bit. Need to be careful that I don't bump into anything. And unable to land at the requested location. So like this, I'm going to run out of vertebrate signal grenades really quickly. I still have about four left. Oh, come on. God damn it. This thing can't land anywhere. Okay, so this isn't good. I can't use my vertebrate signal grenades. I think I only have two left. <laughs> I think I only have two left, yeah. Which means that if I can't use them next time... That we won't have any left to get to the Pridwin again. Um, which is going to be annoying. So if I can't find a good spot now, I don't have a reserve to move from Sanctuary back to the Pridwin to buy more. So Hester Consumer Robotics, don't really care about that. Can I get on top of the, the road here? This seems like a perfect place to land, by the way. So, edge of the city... Seems wide open space. There we go. There we go. Finally, a vertebrate has been sent to your location. Uh, I'm going to just swap back to fragmentation grenades now. Just to make sure that I don't accidentally use my last vertebrate grenade. By the way, I have actually no idea where the hell I am. Um, it might be... Is that the place where we got the turbo pump bearings? I think it is. The turbo pump bearings for the USS Constitution. So we kind of walked past here before. But I never really checked out anything uh, south from here. So yeah, we're going to see about that later on. Let's just board the Vertibird and head towards Sanctuary Hills. Oh, there is a red rocket over. Ow. Weapons hot and ready to bring the pain, man. I don't even know where we're getting shot from. Let's just move. Oh, I have a feeling that we're going to be... Flying through a building. Um. Ma'am? Ma'am, have you seen this? Oh, gold. Seems like I don't have access to the minigun. I can't. Oh, gold. No, 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 no. Don't, don't fire the minigun at us. Because I can't for some reason. So sometimes that happens. Oh, please don't shoot us down. That I, yeah, there's a really... Big bug with the... Because uh, I don't even have ammo at the moment. <laughs> Can I even see myself? See, I, I'm holding I'm holding something, but it's definitely not a minigun. Will you please stop firing at us? Ah, I might have been confusing it with Cambridge. So Cambridge is over there, but this is... Uh, this might be Lexington. Yeah, but the train's over here. Yeah, this is definitely the, the bridge where we need to meet Deacon. So it's a little bit closer, and over there... 
You can already... Ow! For fuck's sake! I haven't done anything to you, dick! But yeah, the water tower of Concord. And then we're passing over the town right now. I can't really see it because it's on the other side of the vertibird. But uh, you can already see the, the last remaining houses of Sanctuary. And our plan for Sanctuary is basically I'm going to end the episode there. I'm going to see if I can talk to a few people. Maybe uh, add some more supply lines. Although I think I already have a link with Sanctuary Hills uh, to Hangman's Alley. So that's not a problem at all. But other than that, we're going to just scrap basically everything in Sanctuary Hills. Build it out a little bit so it can be self-sustained. Oh, right. This place was under attack. Um, can we Can we land? Can we land? Can we land, please? I'm bringing her in. Luckily, Stay I've placed down thing. turrets. So they're uh, distracted by the turrets because otherwise this would have been really bad. I would have been shot down if it weren't for those turrets. So yeah, Gunners. Gunners are attacking Sanctuary Hills. There we go. I'm glad I actually got here in time. Why isn't he dying from the turrets? There we go. There's a Gunner conscript over there. I'm just... I'm not gonna sprint too much. How are they facing away from the turrets? Hey, stop attacking Codsworth. Oh, that's Marcy. Where's that last Gunner? There he is. Go, dog meat! Eat his ass! There we go. Oh, he's not dead from it. Oh, God. What the hell just exploded? One of the cars, I think. There we go. Um. Godsword, are you okay? Oh, there he goes. Ooh, that's a cool animation. Never saw that before. Um, but yeah. Gunners. Gunners actually carry ammo, though, so let me just take a look. There we go. Sanctuary defended. And now, sadly, of course. We don't have the vault deck wrap here, which would have been nice. He would have been another uh, another settler over here. I'm just going to stuff my junk in there. Um, that sounded really dirty, but just uh, my junk materials, of course. And then other than that, I just wanted to check because it's been a while since I've been here. So we did have a little farm over here. Um, what we can do is actually place... Um, I don't think we have a generator here yet. What? So I'm going to place a generator, a big one, um, over here. So there we go. A big generator. Um, we can place that right over here. And that actually levels us up to uh, level 34, which is good. And now we need a recruitment radio beacon right over here. We have plenty of the materials we need for that. Let's get out of that and attach the generator to the recruitment beacon. So that's going to... Um, attract more people to this place. We're gonna have to take a look at our, yeah, at our um, resources that we're gathering here. I think I need to fix up a few of the turrets as well. Maybe uh, place a few extra ones. Doesn't seem like I need to repair anything, which is interesting. So I'm just gonna place a, a heavy turret on top of uh, the other ones we already have. There we go. You can already see the extra people coming in. So more people means that we're gonna need more beds uh so let's just place these in the houses that we already have so we're up to seven people already i'm just gonna i'm gonna have to check because i know some of the houses you can scrap and some of them you don't so this house you can scrap because i think this is basically our house from the beginning of the game right yeah so we placed all the beds over here already uh, i'm not gonna place one in the bathroom but i'm gonna place one over here as long as we're inside right there we go so nine more beds, that should be fine. And what we're gonna do is put in an industrial water purifier over here. And then the only thing we need is power to fuel it. So if we just create a medium generator, that should be enough. Right over here on the land, we can attach the wire to that thing. So now we're producing over 40 water in one go. So that's the water situation done. And there we go, placed uh, some more razor grain and potatoes around the place as well. And that should allow us to, I think if I just go out, I can just grab this mute out. fruit. And then I can place that over here as well. So if we just go over to mute fruit and then find the spot that's still available. Oh, I saw one over there. There we go. Uh, and that should give us enough food as well. So we're up to seven food, which is fine for now. 
And with that, I'm actually gonna take a little break. I'll do some more work on this place in the meantime, in between recordings, but for now, we're gonna take a little break. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 Survival. We're finally getting a grip on the Commonwealth, making our mark with several settlements, making connections to other people. This is gonna be nice. I'll probably also grab the nearby settlements and link those up to Hangman's Alley as well, so we can grab all the food from there and kind of centralize it in Boston. But before that, again, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode of Fallout 4 Survival. Goodbye.